Hey guys, I am Asante Black. I'm here at Shadow and Act, and we are here breaking down a scene from When They See Us. It was very, very interesting how Ava decided to, 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 do, to do these uh, scenes where all of the guys are together um, because, you know, they, they were branded as the Central Park Five, but in reality, they didn't know each other. And as you see in this uh, series, they weren't really together a lot. It's more about they were they were forced to be together because of this story, um, but they they were all individuals in their own right and really didn't know each other. So this is the first time that like all four of these guys, besides uh, Corey, are in a room together and they've really never met each other before. Kevin, right? I saw you that night at the police station. Who are you? Raymond? I wonder who Raymond was. They literally, while they're in this room with each other, have the preconceived notion that one of these guys did it. You know, they don't know. They just, they just know that they didn't do it. But until the end of this scene, they're literally thinking, oh, so I'm in the room, you know, with, with, uh, with a rapist right now, with a, within a, uh, you know, somebody that assaults people. And it's, it's just, it's just horrible. It's horrible. I got a lot of you, man. I'm sorry. I lied on you too. That part right there is so powerful because literally, like I was saying, these kids have to piece together that they were forced to lie on each other. Um, by these people in power. And it's literally like Kevin's admission that he lied uh, to police about Antron doing something that he didn't do, um, something that could get him in a lot of trouble. I mean, that takes a lot of courage and it's a lot more courage, you know, than the people in power who were, you know, helmet or who were at the head of this situation um, had. They, they had a lot more, because I mean, in all honesty, in all honesty, you gotta have a lot of courage to go after a case and go about it properly instead of just piecing together a story uh, just because you want a conviction. They made us lie, right? I ain't doing this like this. What other way they ever do us? To each other, they're not the Central Park Five. They're Raymond, Corey, Kevin, and Tron Yusuf. Um, they're their own selves. They don't even know each other. I remember the, the scene right after that where they're uh, being led into the cop cars. Ironically, before we filmed that scene, it was a great time. And you know, every time every time we were on set together, all five of us, it was like a family reunion. I mean, those guys are my brothers for life too. Um, and we were just having a good time, even knowing the circumstances of the scene to come. Uh, and, and I think that that's what, what kept us strong, really. Having each other there that so that we could have fun with each other behind the scenes um, is what helped us to get through filming these very, very tough scenes. I mean, because scene, the scene that we have to film right after we are having fun is a pretty tough scene. You're being putting the cop cars uh, and, and going to prison for something that you didn't commit and awaiting trial, that's that's pretty heavy. The the Exonerated Five, they're so, so strong. They're like, like they're like uncles, big brothers to us now. I uh, love them forever. They're some of the most strong, the strongest men that I know, so. 